the person on your mind, what do you need to know? How are they thinking? How are they feeling? Really think about the person on your mind. Open up, <clears throat> open up your mind's eye. Visualise them. What do they look like? What do they smell like? What do they sound like? All about the person on your mind. What do you need to know? If you claim this, let me know. Put a like on it or let me know in the comments. I'm going to split the deck. The world reversed. The moon. And the knight of cups reversed. This person's hiding their true deep, 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 deep feelings with the moon in the middle of all that. <clears throat> there is a pathway here for the both of you. And there's a way forward. But there's a lot of hidden feelings. There's a lot of things haven't been said with the knight of cups reversed they're either really holding back or they're not being completely honest and it feels like both they're holding back because they're not being honest about how they really feel there are delays here there's upset here there's a refusal to let this be a happy thing at the moment and it all keeps going back to the moon which is you're going to get from a to b anyway you're both linked, you're both connected, you both have this invisible path in the middle of you both. And it's really frustrating, isn't it? Let's pull some charms. What do the charms want you to know? Within a circle of protection. Let's have a look. We have a windmill. Now, we need all of the things in the windmill to work for it to function in the way that it needs to. It's a piece of machinery. We have a key that also has a wheel on it. Um, I have two dolphins. Someone's heart is half empty or half full, depending on the way they look at it. But it feels like there's someone here that's very pessimistic. We have your guardian angel and we have a measuring jug. And again, it's that half full, half empty. It feels like one of you has full confidence in this connection and the other one is just like, not going to tell you how I feel. Let's see what they've got to say. What are they not saying? What do you need to know? What message is here for you today? At the moment, they're keeping you in the dark. At the moment, they're not being completely open and honest. What do you need to know? Private readings are always available. You just need to book yourself into my diary. But if our energies match, there's plenty of free readings here for you to find. You speak to me through music. <clears throat> I wonder if you are happy without me. My little cat, Rosie, she's trying to get in a paper bag. She's been living in it this winter. I regret lying to you. What are they lying about? What are they lying about? You're not happy without them. I don't think they're happy without you either. I think the both of you have a really strong musical connection and that just shows the depth of love and the depth of feeling that there is and the depth of the energy link between the both of you. It feels like if you randomly think about them, it's because they're thinking about you. What else do we need to know? Love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. They need to break the ice, don't they? Stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, a shocking attack. So, the snake, competition, the enemy, clever, malicious... Look over your shoulder, the other woman, maybe they're in a bit of a third party situation. Maybe this person's either got an ex who isn't quite an ex yet, or they've been dating. I think this person's like developed really strong feelings for you, and it's changed a lot for them. 
it's changed a lot of what they were thinking and how they were behaving. I think this person has a lot of regrets with how they've handled this situation. And it feels like they may have accidentally put you in a third party situation that you weren't really aware of. I think you do know about it now, though. And I, I think you're probably at the phase of, well, do they care about the other person more than they care about me? And I think they care about you so much. They don't know what to do with it. They don't know what to say. And if it was, if it's an ex of theirs who they've only recently broken up with, that ex may still be feeling that they're going to get back together. It feels like somebody's feelings are being played with. And by doing, but not necessarily playing with it, it's more of, um, there wasn't a clean break. There wasn't a, you know, like when we're grown ups, we have to say, I don't want to be with you anymore. This is over. And we have to be very clear. It feels like this person that you're thinking of, they backed out of that relationship and let it fade rather than just being completely upfront. But sometimes when people do that, it's because they're a bit gutless. Sometimes they do it because they don't really know what to say. They don't want to hurt the other person's feelings. But what it does is it gives the other person mis 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 mixed messages, doesn't it? So the other person, I think, still got feelings for this person. And I think this person is really scared of you completely cutting them off. It's a mess, isn't it? It's very complex. It's a, it's a messy situation. I'm going to pull three cards. What else do you need to know? <clears throat> is there a way that this can move forward? Both of you are going to move forward together anyway. Um, I don't see this connection between the both of you being over. The connection with the ex is well over. Uh, but don't be surprised if you hear from the ex if they get wind that you two are together. <sighs> My goodness. Your person should have handled this all in a different way. The Empress reversed is the ex, yeah. There's someone that hasn't quite let go yet. The world reversed. That's what's causing the problems. And then we have the two of coins. Your person's going to have to start making choices and decisions. But they're also going to have to move into a phase of letting you make a choice. At the moment, they've got their head in the sand. At the moment, they're avoiding saying anything. They need to be completely open and honest. And they need to lay it all out so that you can make the best choice for you. If they're open and honest with it and you know what you're dealing with, then you know whether you want to go for it or not. Um but it feels like they're going to do that. It feels like over the next couple of weeks, they're going to give you the chance of making a choice. Because right now, you're not making any choices. It's all down to them, isn't it? So that's what I have for you. There is going to be a breakthrough. They're not going to get back with their ex. They're just not. They're, they've been out of that relationship for a long time. They just didn't tell the ex. You know, I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so you aim to take you anyway. And thank you so much for being here with me today. If you've made it to this point and are part of my secret Purple Heart Gang, hardly any of you make it right to the end of the reading. I see it in my analytics. And that's okay. If someone jumps in and they, they take a message as soon as they get in, or if they get into it and they're like, well, this isn't a reading for me, that's fine. It's perfectly fine. I had a day off yesterday. We had some snow. It knocked my internet out. We had, I had 36 hours with no internet and it was the most boring 36 hours ever. Couldn't go anywhere because it was cold and snowy. And I realised that literally everything I do is connected to the internet, reading, radio, TV. I don't have anything connected to the old way of things. So I need to um get a hobby box. So I've got a hobby box. But you know, I need to I I need some noise. I need some music. I need a podcast. I need something. So I need to download some things, I think, so that if our internet goes out again, I'm not completely bored. I was so bored. I was climbing the walls. Rosie didn't know what to do with me. It's just like, oh my goodness. That's what they used to do in the olden days, isn't it? Sit around staring at the walls. Anyway, I hope you're doing well. If you're in a part of the world that's really cold right now, stay warm. I hope you're managing to stay warm. If you're in a part of the world that's really hot right now, I, I just want some middle ground. I don't want it too hot. I don't want it too cold. Just some middle ground would be lovely. I will see you soon.